Following Hurricane Nikki in 1992, which wreaked havoc in Hawaii, I knew we needed to develop a capability to assess risk and provide information quickly to guide good decision-making. Four years later, the Pacific Disaster Center opened its doors on Maui. Whether it's the proliferation of mobile technologies, the internet, and live global satellite television, giving us the impression that natural disasters are on the rise, or there's a definitive increase in major events coming up on the planet Earth, one thing is certain. We've been experiencing some significant natural events in this country and around the world that have impacted millions of lives. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, tsunamis, life-changing natural events seem to be on the rise. And finding ways to warn and prepare people to protect themselves and their property needs to be a major priority. One of the factors is, is the world's population is growing. And in many areas, particularly in Asia, there's been a huge shift of population into urban areas, resulting into a large number of people, high concentration of people living in very, very vulnerable areas. And particularly looking at the density of buildings, we find that these populations are typically living in buildings that are poorly constructed. And then in addition to being in buildings that are poorly constructed, their also uh, population is in marginal areas under marginal conditions, which increases their vulnerabilities to uh, these types of hazards. In fact, they're the most vulnerable to hazards, to the impacts of hazards. As with any emergency situation, when the worst case does happen and a major weather or natural event occurs, communication is key. The use of science, information, and technology for sound evidence-based decision-making is critical for everyone in a time of emergency. From first responders, governmental agencies, and private organizations to the scientific community and the general public, speed, accuracy, and proper dissemination of information can be the difference between life and death. In the field of disaster management, there are a lot of challenges, specifically as it relates to getting the right information to the people that are going to be impacted. So one of the advancements that PDC has made is being able to work closely with our partners to bring together the warning, the risk information, uh, social and cultural geographic information to come together to really understand both the hazard, the risk, and the vulnerability of the impacted population. We do this in many ways. One of them is through a web-based application. Another is through mobile phones, as well as working with our network with the Red Cross, FEMA, USAID, as well as the international community like the UN to get information to the right people at the right time. So disaster management is really a cycle. It's not just response or recovery, which gets a lot of media coverage and a lot of attention, but a lot of activity needs to occur prior to an event during the preparedness and mitigation phases. So the Pacific Disaster Center works closely, again, with our partners to make sure that we have actionable information in the hands of decision makers so that we can protect populations and make sure that they're effectively prepared in case an event should occur. When it comes to those who have made it their life's calling to help us weather the storms of life, it's organizations such as the Pacific Disaster Center, or PDC, that are making a critical difference in the level of impact these events have on those in harm's way. Since 1996, PDC has worked with and stood behind those on the front lines. Disaster planners, first responders, policy and decision makers, to develop effective early warning and risk assessment solutions. Located in the state of Hawaii, with its principal facility on the island of Maui, PDC provides information research, products, and services for disaster and crisis management professionals, as well as executive decision makers in the field of natural and technological hazards and stresses to social, cultural, and economic well-being. Okay, so what we're hoping to do is by understanding different components, different ingredients that would make up a disaster or a crisis. It's not only the hazard or the magnitude of the hazard, but the society's preparedness to deal with the consequences 
of a hazard. Um, and by understanding different factors that are involved in making of the disaster, we're hoping to increase the coping capacities of the societies um, and thereby increasing the resiliency ultimately. We, we basically use um, science and technology to combine um, various information about disasters so that the information are more easily understandable and more actionable um, for the decision makers as well as the public um, so that they can use those to try to avoid disasters. So the ultimate goal is, is really to, to look at different attributes that would contribute to a, to a crisis, to a disaster. It's not only the, the hazard itself, but also socioeconomic conditions and a variety of other factors and parameters. By understanding those parameters, we're hoping to increase the coping capacity of communities to deal with disasters um, and thereby hopefully increasing the resilience. We cannot, um, at this stage anyway, totally avoid hazards from happening, but if we can increase our coping capacity, uh, then we're, we're, we're becoming more resilient. That's the ultimate goal of uh, using science as a basis of, of what we do. PDC's products and services are used in disaster response and civil military humanitarian assistance operations and encompasses disaster risk reduction, mitigation, and planning, both locally and globally, by stakeholders and disaster managers from local, state, and national governments, in addition to regional and international non-governmental organizations and United Nations agencies. PDC started its work in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, but now it covers the world and offers its services to the global audiences. To learn more about the Pacific Disaster Center, visit their website at www.pdc.org.